Yo, what's going on, guys? What is happening? Happy, happy Friday. Wow, we actually made it. Uh, I feel like this entire week just felt like a, a, a crazy, absurd blur, if anything, but happy to have you guys in the building. Uh, we got Sean Perez, a longtime friend of mine from the Philippines. Uh, so shout out to uh, Florida. That's where he recently uh, resides now. What is going on, man? Appreciate all the support. Uh, appreciate all the tips and tricks around YouTube. He's definitely one of the YouTube gurus in the house so definitely happy to have him here in today's video we're going to be reviewing the air max one dirty denims that did release today so i'm really excited about that but obviously prior to getting into you know the materials and and you know the entire shoe and all that just wanted to kind of check in as we're waiting for more people to roll into the building here but yo sean how you doing what is good it's been a while man it's been a while i should really uh, give you a call maybe after this and check in on you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are well. What is up, Mr. Old School? Mr. Old School in the building right now. We're going to be touching on the Air Maxes, as you guys know. Now, they're still available. So, if anybody does want them, you know, you guys can actually still acquire them. They are on sneakers. Uh, let me go ahead and actually just pull up my screen. So, yeah, appreciate you guys joining over here. We're still waiting for more people to trickle into the building, but as I said yesterday, I was going to be going live today. We're going to be going live each and every single day throughout Sunday, so you guys can definitely catch me on that. But let's go ahead and just bring up my screen here. So, on the sneakers app, it, it still is available. Um, and let me go ahead and just click into it and let's take a good look. So, yeah, as you see over here, these are the sneakers. Now, in terms of like they didn't necessarily fly off the shelves as we do see some sizes still available you know that we still happen to they, obviously the bigger sizes typically fly those are the ones that typically go since those um typically convert to more money for any resale value now i do strongly feel that this is definitely more of a personal if anything but i think it's a solid personal i really do i like the vintage vibe i like that denim i like that denim look it's 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 it, you can really mix and match a lot of clothing to this um and again, this isn't for everybody. I, I know that the Air Max silhouette isn't necessarily for everybody, but it is one of the most comf comfortable silhouettes, I would say. So, um, so yeah. So I just wanted to touch on this one specifically because you know it released today. And again, we're trying to acquire sneakers when they drop. I mean, if I if I have the opportunity to, I want to be able to do that because that's definitely going to help with um, watch time. It's definitely going to help with more you know people buzz into this beehive um, because you know it's like. By covering items when they typically come out, if not earlier, it definitely helps because a lot of people are typically looking at this stuff. They want to figure out, is this worth getting? You know, should I have this in my collection? You know, um, or what does Ernest typically think about it? So I think this is honestly a solid, solid pair and it's why I picked it up today. Um, so re retail today, um, what's what's today's today? It's August 20, it's August 26th, today's a Friday. So these are the Air Max One Dirty Denim, retailed for about $150. So um, so as it says over here, you know, your favorite jeans, perfectly worn, fade in the right spot. So just typically kind of like mimicking that in a way, um, which I can definitely see uh, as a great sneaker for a lot of these faded jeans, right? So um, overall, really like that cream bottom, cream material. Um, and I wasn't aware actually, so this year specifically, it's the 35th anniversary of the Air Max. It's the 40th anniversary of the Air Force One, and it's the 50th anniversary of, of the Cortez. So it's like, it's really like, wow, like it's so interesting to me on like how just all the numbers are just like, they're like big milestone numbers in a lot of aspects. So it's very interesting too. Um, yeah, it, it, it is a real air, a real nice Air Max One, but I also understand everybody's concerns lately where you know, it's like there's so many sneakers or I spent a bunt load of money in, in June and July since those were definitely a lot of like there was a lot of fire drop then. So I understand. Look, not everybody has the money to be able to drop on new sneakers every single week. But I want to be able to cover this for anybody who has interest in it, because at the, at the end of the day, it's like there are going to be some sleepers throughout the year. I definitely do see this as a sleeper. And it's why I wanted to touch on it. Let me go ahead and just kind of get my music rolling since um, yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on over here. But um. But but yeah, um, how, how 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 are you guys doing? What you guys have any specific plans for the weekend for Friday? Um, again, the main topic of discussion today, we're going to be touching on these. I want to show them live, and then we're going to trickle on out for the remainder of Friday. Um, but it had an amazing week, had an amazing day. So yeah, very fortunate to continue to do what we do out here. Um, Alrighty, so yeah, so I guess without any further ado, so over over here like. 
Man, these are cool. These are really cool. So let me go ahead and just bring my uh, bring my screen up. Yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> All right, so <laughs> we got your standard box. It's the standard red box. Uh, it's going to be a slept on Air Max. Yeah, no, for sure. It really is. I really like just that vintage vibe to it. You know what I mean? Um, I could definitely see this as a popular sneaker for San Francisco, especially like around the hate area. That's where you can kind of go and get a lot of your vintage pieces. Definitely see some of the people there acquire something like this for sure. So this is them. Let's go ahead and unbox. You got your just regular, regular, regular paper. Nothing fancy here. Now, honestly, it would have been nice if they spiced this up, even just a little bit, even just like the tissue paper, or like just do something a little bit different. It would have been nice to open it up and you have aged tissue paper as opposed to just the regular white white tissue paper. Um, that would have been nice for, I don't know, you know, they did some uh, recent releases uh, with like concepts and stuff like that, where it was like, it was a really like a special type collaboration, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and take these, let's take these puppies out. All right, so here we have have them all right wow that is really yellow it's not necessarily like cream it looks really really aged in a lot of aspects but i do like how it starts off light and then it goes into like this it goes down into like a darker denim and then it goes back to light and then you have like that that yellow i'm really hoping this light does it justice but these are clean it does come with um it does come with cream laces as you see and then that lighter denim on the inside so I find interesting that the the tongue itself matches the si the the side panels. Uh, well, not this one specifically. This one. So you got light, and it goes into dark, and that light kind of goes into light as well on the inside. So, and then you have your Nike Nike Air Max tag right in the front there. I mean, I was thinking about putting different type of laces on this, but honestly, I think it, it's it's just it, the way it comes. It does not come with any extra laces, as I see. It's literally just these that do come on them but solid pair overall i like them a lot um the nike check mark really that pop in blue you know i could definitely see this um as i'm just an overall and really nice sneaker like once this starts to age as well because look it's it's denim denim is meant to age in time and get worn but yeah that's um and you got the nike nike check mark sewn in on the front bottom of the sneaker you got that um well, your standard Nike Air Max traction. These are clean. And then on the back, there we go. Yeah, these are super clean. I like them a lot. Yo, what's up, Christian? What is going on? What is going on? Doing good. Didn't cop anything today. All else. You know, I, I took, I, I didn't even, I kept I kept thinking that the dunks were going to release on, on sneakers and, and they released on the Nike app. So I literally took L's on all that. I could have been more prepared for today's drop. I'm not gonna lie, um, but specifically how I how I am able to have this in hand is because surprisingly they did have a contest on stashed and I won that one, so that's why I have this over here. Um, I, so I did not try on sneakers app because I was honestly hoping to have this yesterday evening. I was hoping to cover this yesterday evening, but what did we cover yesterday? We covered all four unions, right? So thankful to be able to have been able to do that. And then today, because these dropped today, I think it's relevant. To have some content on these today, um, but yeah, you got your, you got your, uh, you got your what, what, what is it? Your, um, your bubble over there, the air bubble in the back. Super clean. These are super comfy. I mean, j just like any Air Max, honestly. So let's go ahead and take out some of this paper just so you guys can see exactly what it looks like on the inside. There we go. Nike Air on the inside. So yeah, nothing. Honestly, guys, nothing. Nothing too fancy when it, when it, when it comes to this specific sneaker. I just think it's an overall. Like I love the Air Max One silhouette. I really do. Um, the other one that I own is is the Monarch, the Pada Monarchs. I know the, I know Pada did have that release this morning. I did not participate in that. That was like what anywhere from three or four in the morning. I needed my rest, so <laughs> we we didn't necessarily we didn't necessarily stay up for that. But if you did try for those and you did hit them. Congrats. Yeah, the gum sole sick. It's nice. It's really nice. And uh, I'm a I'm an honest I'm an honest 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 fan on these. Um, I don't know. If you guys like plan on maybe eventually getting them, that might be an idea. But um let's go ahead and check what they are doing on 
the aftermarket. So aftermarket, obviously, they're lower. They're actually lower than, I mean, well, why are we even looking at the aftermarket when you can just literally just buy them right now in your, in your freaking size? I know a lot of these sizes are gone. Typically, these ones are like the popular women's sizes and then the popular men's sizes, right? So, so I'm not surprised that these aren't sold out yet, but uh, if we do look on the aftermarket, these are some of the prices that they're typically selling for. So at least you, you guys have a kind of an understanding. Again, we don't recommend buying from StockX, just using StockX to figure out what the prices are at, you know? But when I look at this, I don't see this as the indicator. I always try to add some money on top of that. So anywhere from 30 to $40, because when you average it out, when you go to pay, it's gonna add, you know, shipping, you know, and like the um, the verification and all that, all that, all that other stuff. So. So just take that into account, you know, whenever you, you look at some of these sites. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I am curious what everybody is, is, is up to, is up to for, for the weekend. I just wanted to go live. I wanted to touch on these. I think these are super clean. I like, I like this photo. I think, I think it's cool right there with the jeans and, um, and yeah. So interesting to me. Yeah. It says over here, 30, 35th anniversary, just celebration continues this year, um, on this innovative in in i can't even say the word innovative silhouette and yeah august is coming down to a close over here but you know a lot of tinker hatfield's creations with nike are just some of my favorites you know the jordan the the, the jordan one the jordan three and uh these it's just like he's just such an amazing designer and um and yeah i just hope he continues to to put more stuff out there um but uh yeah let me double check over here so yeah today's you know today was the release so some stores had them as a contest and then some stores just kind of had them as a first come first serve type of situation and what I, another thing i did want to touch on today it really looks vintage um i might i might need a cop i'll be right back <laughs> hey you know I, at the end of the day i was thinking about it yesterday or i think it was a day or two ago when i was telling you guys it's like I can't believe I've influenced people to go buy sneakers. It, it's just, it's still like, I've just been doing the content, not really thinking about like the ripple effects. I'm like, what is this actually causing people to do? Um, but yeah, it's causing people to go buy some, buy some stuff, you know? Like uh, kind of like being a hype man on, on, on YouTube on like, hey, this is like, so let me just say, let me just say, uh, my honest, honest, like, I typically do the rating. I didn't quite do the rating. I'm gonna give these a solid nine out of 10. I really like these a lot. I know these are slept on considering the fact they're still in stock. I really love the stitching, everything. The quality on this, guys, is A1. It is really well made. And um, yeah, these are cool. Double thumbs up for me. Double thumbs up for me. So I definitely just wanted to touch on that. You know, that's the main topic of discussion for today. But I did want to let you guys know that there are some contests that you can participate. Now, not necessarily on these sneakers, but there are a couple contests that I found out about that I just wanted to share with you guys if you guys are interested. So on Stashed, they have these three sneakers available um, for you guys to participate in the contest, okay? Just mind you for the Tom Sachs, and I am going to be trying for these because, I mean, look, we already hit on the Tom Sachs. We're very fortunate to have one on ice one that we're going to wear under the ground and then hopefully it would be nice to get one of these as well these like um i don't know what color this is but it, it looks like a lemon drop in a lot of aspects i like it a lot um but no it is women's sizing so do the size conversions all right if you are going to put your size in for this contest okay um and then we do happen to have these lottery um these lottery uh dunks let me go ahead and click actually you can't click into these but uh let me go ahead and see if i can uh let me see if I can just pull pull this up and see if I can find any more information on it. Seeing in hand versus just the picture makes a big difference. It does. It, it, it really does, Mr. Old School. And yo, Green Steel, what's going on? Should I cop the dirty denims? Hey, look, I don't want to tell you guys what to do, but um, they're they're available. They're still available over here, and I, I like them a lot. Like I'm actually really surprised on 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 the material and everything, and that that aged. Uh, that aged minsole is really, really pretty. So I'm, I'm going to give these, again, a solid nine. I'm also a big fan of blue, and I do see, like, this uh, this check mark eventually kind of getting worn in and all that. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just a nice, it's just overall really nice sneaker. So I am giving it, I'm, I'm giving it a double thumbs up, and I'm giving it a solid nine. So 
if you do if you do happen to have the capital to purchase it for the person again is it for the personal or is it for uh resale because if it's for, for resale or if you're thinking about investing in this i don't think it's a good idea i think if you're going to be using it for the personal i mean purchasing it for the personal then yes definitely do recommend that um let me go ahead and just i'm just kind of like tuning into my uh my, my playlist over here i want to find some uh Let's find some music. We can just kind of like, uh... okay, give me one second here. Um, hey, yeah, but what's good? What's good? It's nice to have Greenstone in the building. It's been a while since I've seen you, Greenstone. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. And and yeah, huge, huge, huge difference. And it's it's not it's why I, I kind of binge watch a lot of sneaker videos because I like if I if I'm eyeing something. And I, like I can't get enough of it. I'm like I, I I need to hear other people's opinions on it, and if it's worth if it's worth my time, right? Um, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm again. I'm 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 just trying to find some from some decent music here, as I find uh, epidemic sound very interesting. You know, in terms of like just trying to find uh, trying to find some good tunes. So hoping this one's decent. But again. Uh, the 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 contests are on on stash, so I, I was looking for um, I was looking for some of these these lottery. Let me see. I'm just looking for some more information on uh, on these. I think this is it. So there are a couple of contests that I did participate in for for the uh, for the lottery ones. Obviously, um, let me bring this over here. Now this one specifically, I don't know. I just really like that Monopoly, like cha-ching, you know, on the sides. If you look at over here, it's got the like the little diamonds, you know, like the little shine on it. These are cool. I think if you hit on these, it's practically like winning the lottery. Maybe, maybe not as much, but it, you know, it's like I, I like these. I like that vintage look to it. It looks like the type of sneaker that you would be wearing while playing Monopoly. I, I don't know. That's just my honest opinion on it. I think it's sick. I like the fact that it comes with this extra little thing over here, scratch off coins. So. I'm aware that you can scratch off the Nike, uh, the Nike check mark. I believe. I don't know if I have. Yeah, so you can scratch off the Nike check mark. I don't know what's under it though. So, uh, Christian Two K says I like the Tom Sachs. Uh, show more, show more than the yellow, or you're saying the original one, the 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 gray one. I like the gray one. I think it's like a staple piece. Um, I feel like any color that comes out after that, it's not going to be like the original one. So I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. Yo, Burr, what's going on? Burr Collins in the building. Yeah, we're just touching on these. Apparently, there are some contests on on stashed for this and this. I do like the the green one much, much, much better than the than the um than 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 the gray one. But they do both come with that little uh that little like emblem here in the front where well it, they both come with this. And they they both come with this is the scratch off coin so you, apparently you can scratch off this i'm not too sure what's under it if it's going to be like a, like a mirror or um like a mirror check mark um i'm very curious i'm very curious and if anybody knows where i can find some photos if they're already in existence let me know i, I i'm just doing a little bit of research while i have you guys here on the oh wait a minute is this it no that's not it okay now I'm looking, I'm looking over here, trying to figure out if uh, if I can see any photos, but I'm not seeing anything with the with the with the scratch off. You know what I mean? But these are clean. I like them a lot. I'm hoping I'm hoping to acquire these again. I don't want to turn my entire channel into just covering dunks all the time, but I, I would say as of recent, it's been like I've been kind of on a Nike binge, so it's like kind of like anything of you know any anything of like even um, a little bit of heat or anything worth talking about. It's like look. We need to cover it. We need to get the content out. I do want to mix it. I don't want to mix my channel with also like how to cop stuff and, and other stuff. I don't know if I'm going to start a discord anytime in the future. But again, since I'm still technically starting out with my channel, um, I think my forte is touching on, you know, sneakers, you know, bringing sneakers to you as close as I can so that you guys can be like cop or drop. You know, is it worth getting? Um, I think private selection had a video, I think. Oh, okay. Okay. I might look, I might look, look that up later, but I, again, um, for today's discussion was just wanted to touch on these cause I got them in the building. If anybody has any questions, if it's worth getting, I'm giving a solid nine out of 10. I think it is amazing. Yo, shout out to each and every single one of you guys in the building. We got a couple viewers smash that like button. If you haven't already, it really means the world to me as we continue to, I don't know, just get, get more consistent content. Okay. I'm going to be going live again tomorrow. 
most likely around the same time. I'm debating on going live in the morning. I know there's obviously a couple drops with Adidas, you know what I mean, with Bad Bunny. I'm a big fan of that. And um, I did try for them as well. I don't know if you guys already did, but on the confirmed app, if it if it is still live, Bad Bunny release uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Let me see. Mm. Yeah, it's those blue sneakers on Adidas. Let me go ahead and see. Let me see if I can just pull it up. Yeah. So uh, this is them. So for those that don't know, again, I'm also a fan of Adidas sneakers. Uh, this is this is the the sneaker that is uh, re releasing uh, tomorrow on confirmed, and uh, I like them a lot. I really do. I actually I like like I'm a fan of big. Uh, you know, I'm a fan of Bad Bunny, but the, the the silhouettes that he puts out, like especially like the hype pieces, because like there are certain pieces that have come out. I think there was a black pair that didn't necessarily do too well on the aftermarket. But look, at the end of the day, it's 160. If you're getting this for the personal, if you're going to resell this, like, it doesn't really matter. I, I think it's going to do well regardless, but um, if you like them, rock them. That's what we're about, right? So, yeah, download the Confirm app if you haven't already, and you can sign up for these and best of best of luck. Um, these are clean. I like them a lot. Can you show the shoe again? I didn't see it. Yeah, sure thing. Sure, sure thing. Give me one second here. Okay, let me go ahead and just get back to it. So, these are them, and um, I like them a lot. So, in the front... You pretty much have like this like almost like aged suede to it you have the white check mark in the front and then the entire sole here it's not so much cream it's more like a like a like a vintage yellow in a lot of aspects you know those shoes that just start to fall apart they're kind of mimicking that type of color bottom of the sneaker you're gonna have well you know pretty much it almost looks it almost looks like it's like that type of recycled uh sole in a way but it's good quality it's good quality you got that nice brown sole to it front toe box you're going to look down at your sneakers is typically what you're going to see so you see you have like that light denim that transfers into dark denim and then you have your your cream laces now my light might not be doing the laces justice but these are cream laces and then you have your nike nike air max uh, on, on the on the top now these sneakers are still available on sneakers app and i see this as a sleeper now sleeper in the way that if you do, if you miss out on this release yeah, they'll probably go up in value, maybe like 20 bucks, maybe 30 bucks over re or over retail. But um, if you want them, yeah, like I do see this definitely as more of a summer shoe. So it's interesting that they're releasing it around this period of time because we're what will we be entering? We're entering fall, and you know we're we're entering winter, right? So this is the type of sneaker that I could see doing a little bit of a number next year because then people are like, oh, I want something vintage. I want something. I want something for the summer. You know what I mean? This is a total um, hate type of sneaker. And I'm saying like the San Francisco hate. You know what I mean? I could totally see people wearing like vintage clothing with these. Because you have different types of denim on it. You have a light denim. You have dark denim. And then you also have that really nice check mark. The check mark is... I, I know my check mark maybe doesn't look as like as as, as, uh, as fresh. It looks it almost looks like it's got a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a cut on it. But if you look at them, it it's made of leather. And it's good quality. You look at the stitching, stitching is impeccable on this. They did a really solid job. So I, I hope, Burr, I hope, I hope that uh, I hope that helped. Again, feel free to rewind and watch the video again later if you want to see more close-ups. But uh overall, I like these. These are clean, super, super awesome. Shout out to them. Um, and I do like that vintage look. I know that um I believe it was Concepts that did that, and I, I reviewed um some of the concept shoes a while back where they, they they did the collaboration and it was kind of like woodstock and all that stuff with like the guitar pick on, on on the sneakers that was sick it was really really cool and um yeah nike air on the back of the shoe makes it much better in my opinion yeah nike air on the back it's all stitched in super good quality super good quality great shoe yep so again i'm rating it a nine out of ten now that's pretty high for me for an air max the, the only other Air Max I own, this is my second Air Max. The only other Air Max I own is the Pata, uh, at least that's what I call them. The, the Pata Air Max uh, Monarch, which is the, uh, let me go ahead and just show you guys on the screen, okay? Um, so the the only one, the only other one I own is, is I believe the only one really worth owning is, is the Monarch, uh, the Pata. Now, 
The powder that they released today, I did sleep on it because they released very early in the morning. It was like released at like what four in the three in the morning, four in the morning. I was like, I I don't really know. But then when I woke up, I looked at the sneakers and I was like, wow, it actually looks really nice because it's it's like this white. It's like a lot of it is white. I could see them getting dirty pretty easily. But out of all the powders that have released uh, that are of an Air Max silhouette, this one I think is the to me is the best one. It's just the best one. Um, and I, I think it's why it's doing, I would say, pretty decent on the aftermarket. You know, like what, size 11s at 300 and what have you. Um, you know, considering the fact that these release at, uh, for $160. Um, and what I really, really like about this design is there's not too much going on. It's like, you, you it's like, it, like this is a regular Air Max, okay? And you look at the, you look at how, you look at how this is, is made and, and how the waves are on the, on the padas and like, the waves is very elegant. It's like, like by 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 um, by them putting this design on it. I, I forget the guy's name, but shout out to him. I think like the way he designed this is very very just just elegant overall. Like he he didn't take away from the sneaker. He didn't add too much to the sneaker. It just you look at it and it's like okay wow like that just looks it looks awesome. It really looks awesome. And this is honestly for me one of my favorite Air Maxes, and it's why it's 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 one of the only ones I, I have in my collection right now. 4 a.m. if you're in the West Coast. Okay, th thank you. Yeah, it was a pretty early, early release. And it, again, you're gonna have to do the the conversion, the money conversion. You're gonna have to purchase it. Um, you know, it's pr pretty much being shipped from 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 Europe, I I believe, right? Um, yeah. Hold up, give me one second here. Let me just go ahead and like move to the next song here. Um, but, uh, but yeah, do any of you guys own any Air Maxes? I'm curious. I, I know the Air Max isn't the most hyped, like, you know, silhouette. It's not. But to me, there are certain Air Maxes that they have released that are, like, worth getting. Because this is a very comfortable sneaker. Like, if you wear this and joggers and you're just kind of, like, you just want a chill day, these are definitely a good, solid move. Re regardless, if you're going with the vintage denim or you're going with the Monarch or whatever you want to go with, I woke up and then fell back to sleep. I'm on West Coast time. Hey, man, um, I, I I I couldn't do it. I feel like it's just been such a crazy week that I just didn't really have the bandwidth to. But I, I, I again, I want to let you guys know I do plan on having more of a, a schedule in, in in place for when I do my lives. I I, I don't want to just go live like I mean, as of recently, as of I think the entirety of this week, I've been going live around 7 p.m. But I want to really figure out like just a more solid schedule where I go live anywhere from maybe three to four times a week and then in the morning and then in the afternoon. Because like for me to get my watch time to where I need to be, I'm, I'm kind of lagging behind. Where it, well, like where I'd like to be right now is at least 2,000 watch hours. I'm not even at 1,000 yet. I'm almost, I'm itching towards 1,000. I think by this weekend, we're going to hit 1,000 watch hours. But for your channel to get monetized, you need to be at 4,000. So there's still a long way to go. Um, but it's going to happen in time. So I think it's just, it's all about consistency. I will most likely get there within the next five to six months, really depending on two things. You guys showing up and then me putting out content. That's it. Me putting out good content that I strongly believe in. So, so again, I appreciate all you viewers in the building. If you haven't already smashed that like button, what happens when you smash that like button? I go, I don't know if you guys know this. It all YouTube opens up the channel and it recommends this video to more people. So more people can come and they can join because honestly, how I see going live is very, very similar to how I would do my street performances. So for those that don't know, I'm a professional yo-yoer. A long time ago, I would say about maybe anywhere from eight years ago, I would do street performing in San Francisco. And the thing is, when you're performing in front of a crowd of people, all you need is one person. You just need one person in front of you and you're entertaining them. And then guess what happens? Another person, another pastor buyer who maybe is visiting from Europe or what have you will like walk by and then they'll stop. And then all of a sudden you need to start controlling the crowd. Uh, you start building that crowd. You're talking to one person in front of you, but then you all, somebody else is interested in what you're, what you're demonstrating. You have to start commanding attention from different people. And then what happens is I start to look up and I have five people in front of me. I'm like, okay, how can I continue to hold their attention? You know? And it's, 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 it's a, it's such an amazing skill, but it's a, it's a skill that you need to really practice. You know, it doesn't come naturally. You really need to kind of like, it's almost like you're commanding a room in a lot of aspects because the moment I, I show like the grand finale, everybody leaves. And it's like, it's like, 
it, it's crazy because after the, before everybody leaves, you, you kind of have to ask for your tips. You pass around the hat or you, you, you have to ask, you know what I mean? So to me, it's very interesting to know how to command a room and command attention from different people um, because all it takes is one person, one person in front of you. And I'm going to be honest with you. When I first started street performing, I would have my brother pretend to be the audience. I'd just be like, just stand and watch me. Just stand and watch me. All right. Until we get another person and they didn't, we didn't necessarily know we were related, but, um, but yeah, it was, is very interesting to me. And I, that's very, that's pretty much, I know I'm kind of going on a tangent here, but I just want to let you guys know that's how I see YouTube is I see like I can go live and I can have one person or I can have a thousand people watching me. And, um, and it's hard to hold your guys' attention. I'm gonna be honest. Like I see the numbers going up. Like what we were at, we were at 10. Now we're at seven. It's like people are kind of going in and out out of the building because maybe some people just came here. They just want to see the freaking sneaker. Bang. All right. So it's it's a lot to juggle. It's a lot to juggle this stuff. But I wanted to go live. I wanted to touch on this stuff. I just wanted to let you guys know. Like I'm a fan of Air Maxes. I am. I really like like. Um, one of my good friends that actually works at, at, at Nike, like he was able to see, so there's an area in Nike called the DNA. It's called the DNA and that's where a lot of this originated. That's where the, the Air Max was born and a lot of the history's there. And he tells me it's one of his favorite, favorite, favorite rooms at Nike. This is in, 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 uh, in, in Oregon. So, you know, it's really, really super, it's super cool. And, and yeah, hey, I, I see, uh, it's gotta be, it's gotta be the shoe says, I love Air Maxes. Yeah, Air Maxes are awesome. Air Maxes are awesome. And again, I just wanted to touch on this because I felt it's necessary. I felt it's necessary. I go live, I touch on the sneakers I just got and let you guys know my honest, honest, honest opinion of them. Uh, AM1 is my favorite silhouette. I think I got six pairs. I have maroon waves. Ah, okay. I almost could. I almost got. I almost got the the, the maroon waves. I, I did. I remember seeing, seeing seeing those. Those are interesting too. Um, but six pairs is quite a bit. I did on foot on my channel. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, hey, Bert. I'll I'll take a peek at your channel after this. Yo, shout out to each and every single one of you guys in the building again. Um, you know, just it's just awesome to to have you guys um here with me on 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 a freaking Friday of of, of all times. Uh, you like Air Max or Vapor Max more? I like the Air Max more. Yeah, I like the Air Max one definitely much more versus the Vapor Max. Let's let's go ahead and pull up the Va Vapor Max. Vapor Max. Yeah, I don't know. I for me specifically, oh, let's look into this. So for I know this is the plus, but just that that separation in the middle here. I don't know. Let's say Air Max. There's another type of Air Max that I'm a fan of, the 97. Yeah, this one I'm a fan of. This is like the second one that I like. I know that uh, uh, Sneakers pretty much recently released one with like neon, wave, neon waves. Those are cool too. The Silver Bullet I know is a popular one as well. Again, I don't know that much when it comes to Air Maxes. I'm just full transparency. Like I'm a fan of the Air Max 1. I'm a fan of the Air Max 97. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, cra it's crazy to me. Like, I do like the silver one, the silver bullet specifically. I wonder if I can actually just pop that up. Sil silver bullet. Because those two, yeah, this one. Air Max 97 silver bullet. This one goes for, I think, a decent amount of money. Let me see. Yeah, it's decent. Like, what, three, three, 400, 300? Yeah. So they're apparently re-releasing this, I think, this later this year. So keep your eyes peeled for, for when, when they do come out. They're, it's going to be different than this one specifically. I don't think they're going to do the exact same one. Typically, Nike doesn't release the same exact thing. It's rare. I know that they're also releasing the Fire Red 3s pretty recently, and I'm going to try, try, try my best to acquire those. Are, are anybody here hyped on the Fire Red 3s? The Fire Red 3s are going to come, and they're going to go. That's going to be a very hyped release. So I'm really hoping to double up on those. Yeah, those are sick. Because the red is matte, it's not glossy. And that's what I really like about it. Um, uh, it's, gotta, it's gotta be the shoes. 23 says, I started to get rid of J's for Air Maxes these days. So much more comfortable to rock all day. Hey, that's good to know. Hey, maybe I might join you, you know, cause I'm a huge fan of Jordan ones. Like I've been literally rocking Jordan ones like a lot. It's, it's definitely been one of my uh, chosen uh, chosen sneaker, uh, sneakers of choice, I would say, right? Um, excited for the silver bullet. Yes, aren't we all? It is like, I'm definitely excited for that. It's got to be the shoe says ones, 97s, uh, 90 slash threes for me. There you go. Cool, 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 cool. But yeah, uh, 
Red threes, yeah, yeah. And you know what? Since we're talking about it, I just want to. I just. Let's, I'll just. I'm going to bring it up. I got to bring it up on the screen. Red three Jordan. Oh man, these are so crazy. Okay, yeah, these are. These are so cool. Let me see. Yep. Okay. So let me bring it on the screen here. I mean, we can't like not show it. We're gonna talk about it. We gotta show it, right? God, these are crazy. These are so crazy. Yeah, it's just super clean. Um, I, I'm guys. I'm gonna have to double up on this. Honestly, it's hard because I I know I recently just reviewed the Dark Iris, right? Now I don't know if I'm gonna hang on to the Dark Iris full full transparency, mainly because I'd prefer to own these over the Dark Irises, right? The Dark Iris, it's a pretty shoe, but at the same time. It is, um, it's glossy. It's a, it's a, it's a glossy type of uh, uh, purple on the back versus this, which is more of like a matte. Um, I don't know if there are any other photos, but yeah, releasing on September 10th. Guys, that's so, so soon. So yeah, you know, I'm going to join every single contest. I'm going to try on both my sneakers app. We're going to try, try, try for these in our sizes. I also have a buddy of mine already asked me. He's like, hey, can you get me a size 12? Please let me know. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Ernest, you want me to uh, perm ban this guy? Uh, not sure. Uh, I'm not necessarily seeing who, who, who exactly you're, 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 you're talking about. Um, but, yeah, I don't necessarily see anything. But, uh, but, yeah, if you see something off, man, let me know. Thank God it's Friday. Yo, Keats, what's going on? We got Keats from the Philippines in the building. Yes, sir. Thank God it's Friday. We're winding down over here. It's almost 8 p.m. PST here in San Francisco, California. But uh, wow, what a week. What a week, guys. Lots of uh, lots of changes about to happen in my life. Just letting you guys know. Um, I will be you know, letting you guys know some new news, I guess, kind of like in my personal life. Yeah, so soon, 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 soon. Um, just a lot of changes. A lot of changes, and it's why I haven't been going live that much And then uh, as of last week. I think I was I was out for about maybe like six days, but uh, we're back and we're 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 back on that um, consistent, you know, just just getting con getting consistent at the end of the day, right? Um, but yo, much love to each and every single one of you. Uh, Mr. Osu says only double up more more like triple up. <laughs> hey, maybe I mean if if the forces uh, allow me to, um, it's gonna be a busy weekend for me. I need to sort my my sneaker collection, guys. So I'm just letting you guys know I'm probably gonna be posting a photo. Of just a mountain of boxes. I, I know I posted on my community. I think I think I, it was anywhere maybe from 30 sneakers, but I probably have 60 boxes here. That's a lot, and so I'm gonna have to sort them out. I'm gonna have to sell a bunch of sneakers over the weekend. Um, I, I don't know if anybody is interested in specific sneakers and they have you have a specific size. Don't don't hesitate to, to DM me. I I was considering. And let me know your thoughts on this because. For me, I can't hang on to all this heat. Like, there's a lot of sneakers that, you know, my channel's about reviewing. My channel's about, you know, letting people know about what what's up, you know. And I, I don't know how often I can do reviews. But right now, I, I, I just see these opportunities to just get the sneakers, put the content out. So I'm going to go do that. But um, but I, I'm thinking about, like, the amount of sneakers I have right now. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to really cycle through a lot of this stuff. I need to narrow down the collection. I get into the three buckets, the main... Um, the main collection, like what I'm keeping dead stock um, and what it's kind of like just my pride, pride possessions. Um, and I'm probably going to narrow that down to maybe 10. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to try. And then for the personals, keeping certain things in rotation and then what I'm keeping the flip later. You know what I mean? So there's those are the three buckets. And then I guess the fourth buckets is just like, you know, uh, what I have to get rid of this weekend, right? So again, we've been on that grind. We've just been putting out content and stuff like that. I don't know how sustainable a lot of this is in terms of like, buying sneakers, showing sneakers, and then flipping sneakers, you know, because it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to acquire stuff, especially if the sneakers are hype, like really hyped or very expensive type of sneaker. You know what I mean? Like imagine, um, I don't know, just I'm thinking over here, like uh, like I do happen to have the Oreo 4, the Oreo 4s, for example. Those are selling for $500, for example, like five to $600 on the resale market. I got that about a year ago. Now, if I didn't have those in my, my possession and I wanted to review them, I'd have to buy them on the resale market, review, and then, okay, do I keep it in the collection or do I flip them? So a lot of this is just like, like I'm trying to figure out, find out like my balance on YouTube because I don't think that it's sustainable to keep covering reviews. I want to be able to have a little bit more on like um, how to cop, 
how to cop this, what you guys need to do. And then the moment I find out about certain contests, because I am a part of a couple of discords, uh, to let, let you guys know, hey, these are some of the, the contests I would recommend joining. Because uh, what was it, two days ago, I didn't know about the contest on Kith for the foam runners. And then, you know, Christian let me know. And I was like, oh, like I joined it on the spot. You know what I mean? Because like, look, we're, we're not about sleeping here. We got to put out the content and we want to be able to have these things in hand to review. It was amazing to cover Yeezy Day with you guys. That was freaking fun. It was like, I'm looking back, I'm like, okay, we're actually, we're mixing up the channel. We're not just doing Nikes, we're doing Adidas, we're doing New Balances, we're doing a little bit of different things. And if you guys look back at my channel, I've also covered some of my best per performing videos, believe it or not, are Vans. I'm a Vans diehard at like at the core because I'm a skateboarder, right? So I just want to let you guys know, I'm kind of, I know I'm just kind of going on a tangent here, but, uh, but yeah, the Dark Iris is nice, but the red just looks way better. Yeah. Guys, so this is definitely next on the hit list. This is like a must cop for anybody that, that isn't aware of this. Like join every single contest you can and just, just go for them. All right. Um, so I did want to let everybody in the building know we have eight viewers here. If you haven't already, I highly recommend if you want this, join this contest. It's on confirmed. I believe it ends tomorrow. So yeah, so I would recommend, you know, download the app if you don't already have it. And then we also happen to have a couple contests on stashed as well. All right. And again, I was thinking about it. It's like, look, the moment I start to tell more people about these contests, then it's like, there's more people going against me. But like, look, this is a community. We're sharing information, um, especially the fact that like, you know, Christian 2K told me about a contest that I wasn't like, I forgot about. I wasn't really aware of it. So I'm also thinking, um, I believe Amal Manier, um, Amal Manier dropped these today. And guys, I took a fat L on them. Oh, hold up. Give me one second. Let me X out that. And let me just pull up the actual uh, Amal Manier site. Amal Manier. Yeah. So uh, Amal Manier dropped these today. And wow. I mean, a lot of people were trying for them. They sold out before I could. Like, I was in waiting. I was really trying to get them. There was the, uh, there's the airship. Now, these are nice. I really like this. And considering the fact there's only 2,300 in existence, makes it something that I really want, all right? But um, but look, we can't have it all, but they're freaking clean. Oh, I didn't realize. They, so they did, I guess, merch also, but uh, these are freaking awesome, and they're all gone, and now they're reselling for five to $600 on the aftermarket. Now, I like, for how simple the silhouette and all that is, like, for me, I think, like, the biggest... Um, the biggest thing I'm a fan of is the tongue tag. The tongue tag says Amal Manier and that really nice writing. Man, what is going on here? Am I downloading stuff? So I, right now the shoes are gone, but these do still happen to have this very expensive merch. I don't know why this is, this t-shirt selling for what, what is it? $150, that's crazy, that's extortion. And then this is selling for 260. I, if you look really close, the, the hoodie looks like it's really good quality, but the stitching, I don't know. It, it just, just looks very simple to me. So again, I don't recommend getting any of this stuff. We were really hoping, we were really hoping that we would have acquired those, but it was, it was a lot. It was very, very hard to get these. Um, you would need to store, uh, you you need a store to back you and let you borrow sneakers to. Yeah, hey, no, you're right, you're right. You are very right. It's got to be the, it's got to be the shoes twenty three. Yes, I do, I do, I, I should have more connections with stores in terms of just. Can I borrow and, and, and stuff like that? Because a, a good a good buddy of mine, uh, Vibri, he's not here right now, but uh, he's lent me some sneakers and I, I covered on the channel and then I pass them back to him, you know what I mean? But uh, he's like, yeah, I think everybody got L's. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know a single person that actually won. I don't know a single person that won the, won the airships. If you guys did win on the airships, you know, like awesome. That's amazing. I would recommend keeping them considering in fact it's numbered. I don't even own a single pair of sneakers that's numbered. Like that's sick. That's really cool, right? Um, but over here, I'm just kind of showing you guys, like, if there are any, you know, these are all draw, uh, draws that are already closed. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Some stores had them for raffle and then like what? You could still get these on freaking Nike. So it's like, how coveted is it really? Um, I don't know. This is a sleeper. I'm definitely going to shut. I'm going to definitely let you guys know that I honestly think this is a sleeper. I think people are going to look back in a couple months and be like, I should have got that one. You know, it was, a, that was a good one, you know? Um, so I'm happy to have one. Um, dirty denim, denim or fire people sleeping. Yes. We got Googles in the house. What's up? 
But uh, yeah, yo, uh, so again, for anybody new here that doesn't know who I am, my name is Ernest Khan. I'm a two-time Philippine national yo-yo champion, but I'm also a sneakerhead, and I love fashion. So I'm going to be covering more clothing stuff, more sneaker stuff. So if you're rocking with me and you enjoy this content or any content that I've ever put out on my channel, smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help. We're on, we're, we're on many roads over here, but you know, we were on the 2000 subscriber chase. I scratched that. I just said, hey, at the end of the day, I just want to put out good content. If you guys are if you guys are enjoying it, you'll come back. That's it. That's 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 the bottom line. Ideally, I do plan on getting this channel monetized within the next five to six months. That is the plan. So I'm just uh, I'm just here to, to 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 do that, you know. And I'm hoping that you guys are willing to rock with me as we get to where we need to be. Because the moment that happens, guess what? I'm gonna be doing more contests for you guys to win sneakers socks like t-shirts like I'm, I'm i do plan on giving back to the community once we get to that 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 point in time because i want to do this more consistently i do see this as a part-time job i'm going to be full transparent with you guys i know there's still a lot of work i need to do i need to get my thumbnails up i'm well aware of that i do want to really have more of like a uh, a song list in place because maybe some people might come on my channel and may, might not be the biggest fan of the music i'm playing and that's fine you know it's not for everybody but the reason I choose to have this this type of music is is because then I can when I monetize my channel it's non -cop, it's non copyrighted infringement you know what I mean so uh, I'm originally from the Philippines I'm originally from Manila born and raised 25 years in Manila and now I reside in San Francisco California yeah so I'm really happy to be here I'm a, I'm a, I'm a California guy at heart like honestly I used to live in LA for about a year and I've been in San Francisco for 10 years so. It's a grind out here. It's not easy to continue on out here, but uh, you know, I, I work a good job and uh, I have a lot of support. And uh, you guys help me keep going and keep putting out good good stuff into the world because um, this stuff matters. You know, it really does matter to me. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's going to be like 300 on the next giveaway. Hey, we 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 don't know, but um, guys, when we hit 2,000 subscribers, so we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. We're not we're not out. I think what what right now we're about. 1,375. So once we get to 2,000, I'm gonna be giving away something, a sneakers of value of $500, okay? To one lucky winner, okay? And um, and yeah, so I'm, uh, Pinoy, Kumusta bro? Kumusta ka pare? Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually originally from, from, from Manila. I'm not as fluent as I used to be, pero taga, tagig ako. Yeah, tagig. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. Um, it's kind of crazy for me to be, I don't know, you know, sometimes when I come across Filipinos out here and I hear them talking, and I just start jumping in conversation and then they're looking at me like, you don't look Filipino, man, you know? And I'm just like, well, I'm kind of like, don't don't, don't, ju don't judge a book by its cover. You'd be surprised. There's certain people you come across, they might look like they're German, but they speak fluent Japanese. And you're just like, man, that's what the hell? Like, that's crazy. But yeah, I, I try my best never to judge anybody I come across because you never freaking know. You never know their upbringing. You never know their values. You never know where they're where they're originally from. There's a lot of interesting people in the world. You know, there really are. There really are a lot, and that's I think that's what makes life so beautiful is the fact that like we get to come across, and there's there's just a lot of there's a lot of pe interesting people out there that you never you never would have known where they're from, what they do. Um, yeah, like a, a long time ago, I had a really a really I had a really good uh, I had a really good friend. She spoke five languages. I was like. How the like? How the hell can you remember every like five language fluently? Fluently, I don't remember all of them, but it was like Spanish, uh, Mandarin, German, English, and then I think it was Tagalog as well. Like just fluent, like like what the like just insane, insane, but very very talented. Um, Pinoy, yes, proud to be Pinoy for sure. Yeah, so I would say in terms of like my blood, I'm majority Spanish, but I do have a little bit of Filipino blood in me and alongside American as well. But um, let me go ahead and just pull up for those. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, I'm just going to pull up my Instagram for those uh, who haven't already, uh, you know, followed me on Instagram. Feel free to consider follow me on Instagram. Um, my name is Ernest underscore Khan on Instagram. And yeah, it's crazy to me because... I was, at, I think I was, I think I was at like 200, like, I'm oh, sorry, 2,300 something. And then now we're at like the two, it's just kind of just the numbers going up. Every time I bring this up, I just have a new subscribe, uh, uh, you know, follower. So if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, smash that. That'd be great. That would definitely, if you are enjoying the content and enjoying rocket with me, because 
yeah, you know, I've been around the block. I've worked a lot of jobs out here. If you guys ever, ever need any help on anything, whether it's sneak, whether it's sneaker stuff, how to cop stuff, like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like this sponge. I feel like this, you know, this, this, this digest of just information because I've been in the sneaker game for, you know, quite some time. I would say anywhere from two to three years. I know that's not the longest time, but, um, I watch a lot of other uh, streamers and I also watch, watch a lot of videos. So I'm, I'm well aware like what's up, what's worth getting, you know? And as much as my you know, my uh, my history with sneakers isn't that deep, I feel like one day it will be as I'm learning more stuff, you know, around like the Silver Bullets, for example, that came out, you know? Um, and, and, you know, that they're re-releasing and all these, all these bits and pieces of information. Obviously, I want to, when I do talk about stuff, I want to talk about what's as relevant as today so that you guys know, right? So if we have them, we're going to rock them. Uh, but yeah, proud to be Pinoy. We got Kahul's uh, in, 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 I'm assuming that's gaming, but uh, bro, good luck on the sneaker channel, man. Yeah, so again, as much as it's like focused on, on sneakers, I do also want to continue to put out yo-yo content as well. I do plan on making a video sometime soon on how to yo-yo because I'm a I'm a yo-yo, I'm a Philippine national champion when it comes to yo-yo. So I pride myself of that and I want to be able to, to teach people um, like how, how to yo-yo. So I do happen to have a website. I'm just gonna bring it up over here. Uh, it's uh, basically conyoyo.com, and this is how some people find me for for my for my for my gigs. So it just kind of talks a little bit about you know some of the stuff that I've done in the past, and uh, I do the Chinese Flower Festival every single year. You, my contact information there, and uh, yeah, I do I do lessons and events as well. So if anybody needs like me to teach a children's party or anything like that. You guys can find me. I got some pricing there. And yeah, yo-yos are fun at the end of the day. So I just wanted to like share share that with you. I also do sell yo-yos as well. And like I do happen to have, you know, some metal yo-yos, some regular yo-yos, some t-shirts as well. Just a very small store. I might I might update this sometime soon when I have uh, more product. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys that um yo-yos with kicks on uh, do on your on your what, what is it? Do on your foot videos while doing yo, -yo while doing your yo-yo thing. Yeah, I, I do plan on mixing it up. Again, we, we haven't had the most time in the world as of recently, because again, I work a full-time job. At the end of the day, it's like, okay, what time do I have left to give you guys? Um, I'll do that. But um, in terms of like, if you look back on my channel, every weekend I'd edit at least like one sneaker review, you know? And those require a little bit more work because you're cutting, you're editing, you're putting music and all that stuff versus just going live. It's like, bang, we're on. You know what I mean? And like, there's not that much preparation when it comes to live. It's like, look, we're getting the watch hours because um, we're going live. We're talking here um, and you guys are watching. But um, but uh, when it comes to actually editing a video and putting out some quality, it's like for me, I would prefer to put out a sneaker review video of like five, condensed five to six minutes, keep people engaged and get them watching the entire thing versus I put out like a 15 minute video and like people drop off like three minutes in, you know? So to me, there's like, there's a lot of stuff with YouTube on the back end that I, I needed, I need to learn and I need to continue to brush up on. So I'm hoping to have some time off pretty soon uh, so that we can continue to focus and build on the channel. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I, I, again, I just wanted to, like the main topic of discussion was to touch on these. These are amazing. I'm giving them a solid, nine out of 10. I really, really, really like them. These are phenomenal sneakers. If you're considering, considering, considering purchasing them, they're on sneakers app right now. There's still some limited sizing. So I'm just going to let that, let, let that be known again. I'm not endorsed by Nike, but if anybody at Nike wants to talk, let me know. Um, yeah. The, um, any info about the LV off white forces, you know, honestly, no Christian. I, all I know is there, I, from what I've heard from the grapevine is there's going to be another release. I don't know when, but these are going to be very, very hard to acquire. They're just going to be hard to acquire. Like, I think, I think we all know that the first release, do you know a single person that acquired them? I don't. So it's going to be very, very hard to acquire. Um, they're not going to make it easy. They're just not, you know, um, do I rock with New Balance? Yeah, I did do uh, two sneaker reviews on New Balances on my site. I do rock New Balances for sure. Yes, I do. Um, there was one that I did the Kith and New Balance collaboration with the cameras and stuff like that. I did I did drop a video, so feel free to take a look at uh, on my channel. Again, there's so many sneakers in the world. It's like, you know, trying to find your voice within it. And what I've recently learned about my style and what I tend to gravitate towards is SBs, because I'm a skateboarder. 
So I tend to really like reviewing. I get excited to review SBs because, you know, they they got they got the padding in it. You know, they they, they it's just like there there's typically a collaboration with some skate shop. It's just nice to be able to cover that stuff. So um, right now, I think it's just about building the channel. I can't really be picky as of this moment in time. I think it's important to just cover anything and everything sneakers, but keep it focused on sneakers. And then, uh, and maybe clothing on the side as well and just slowly just start to grow um, with you guys. Because again, like to me, this is a, this is, it, it, this is a collaboration. This is a shared channel, um, you know, similar to, to what one of my good buddies, BG Kicks, he says, this isn't my channel, this is our channel. You know what I mean? And I love that. I really love that because I do believe that, that it's like, like I want people that come to, come in front of me to feel at home and welcome. And if you have happen to have a question, I'll pay attention. I'll do my best. There's gonna come a point in time where I'm looking into my chat and like I'm I might miss your comment and I apologize in advance because it, it's gonna be hard for me to to um you know honestly it's like you're running a lot here when you're when you're talking to people is like you're trying to think about what do I say next? Wanna you wanna you wanna pay attention to people in the chat because you don't want them to feel like oh Ernest isn't paying attention to me. You you want you want to make sure people are heard, noticed, and you also want to make sure people are entertained. So it's a lot. Some people do this full time. It's very very difficult. It's very difficult to acquire new stuff to talk about. Have them have the most information. Like there's some there's some people on YouTube who are just killing the game. But it's because they they all started somewhere. I guarantee you. Any of your favorite streamers, go back to their oldest videos, and you'll just be blown away. You'll be like, you'll be like. Shade TV started like that? Or Trevor started like that? Yeah, everybody started somewhere. It's so crazy to me. Um, but I, I watch a lot. Yeah, yeah, you you know BG Kicks. Yeah, everybody, who do, who doesn't know BG Kicks? A lot of people up and coming. You're part of his sneaker group in, in IG. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am, well, I, I am I am a, his friend on IG, yes. And I'm also a part of his, um, well, I'm a member. I'm a member of, of uh, and, and hopefully one day I get to have you, some of you guys as members here too. That would be sick. Christian says, you seen the orange lobster concepts dropping in September. Yeah, we can, we can bring that up. We can talk about that real quick while I got, while I got you guys. Again, I didn't realize we're going to be, we're going to be live for freaking hour. I, I really just wanted to cover these for the first like 15, 30 minutes and then capiche, we're done. But uh, shout out to each and every single one of you guys. We've got 11 people in the building. If you haven't already smashed that like button. Um, I'm just enjoying being here with you guys, uh, Nike Lobster. Let's go ahead and uh, let's bring that up because these are cool. These are cool. Nike Lobster Dunks on Sneakers News. Shout out to Sneakers News for pretty much helping me out with some of my content because they, they do the photos and all that stuff. But these are the orange lobsters. I, I do find it interesting that it does come with this little rubber band in the front, but you know, it's like they just caught the damn lobster. So that's pretty much it. I like these. These are sick. This honestly, if I did hit on these, these would go straight into the collection. I don't honestly know if I would wear something like this. It's very, very loud and it's a collectible. It's a, it's a, it's a highly sought after collectible. So Concepts is set to release this one with the uh, with you know this and that concepts and Nike the Red Lobster. So in 2008, apparently there was some lobster dunks and now they're re-releasing it. So very interesting. Feel free to take a look at that. These are cool. I like them a lot. I'm a fan. I like that. I like that internal like we uh, webbing on the inside or netting or whatever you want to call it. These are cool. I also do see these with like honestly purple laces. I could see this with purple laces and that would be a freaking banger. Honestly. Um, yeah, these are clean. So yeah, thanks for sharing that, man. Um, I have a sneaker channel. Hey, yo, Googles, I'll, I'll take a peek at your, your, your channel after that. But again, guys, so much love to everybody. I, again, I just wanted to go live for, you know, a while, talk to you guys and, you know, share my initial thoughts on, share my initial thoughts on these Air Maxes because these are sick. So if you're considering it, I recommend them. I think they're sick. I don't want to influence anybody to, to buy any sneaker I'm covering at each, like every single time. Like I'm not saying you got to buy this one. I'm just saying these are clean, great materials overall. I really like the different patches and the different, um, I don't know, just overall. Yeah, these are sick. And you got to see them in person. I feel like the, the, the video maybe doesn't even do it justice because if you look really close, this is yellow. It's more like a, like a, like a really dull down yellow, like a, like an aged yellow versus a cream as you can compare it to the white over here. So we've got suede front, 
And yeah, you look at the eyelets there. Yeah, these are sick. These are super cool. So shout out to Nike for this. They're, th these are freaking awesome. And uh, my hat goes off, goes out to them. And shout out to each and every single one of you guys rocking with me over here in the freaking building. This definitely means the world to me. Like you guys have freaking no idea. You guys have no idea like how much this means to me to just like have people who are like willing to listen to me ramble on over here about sneakers and anything that comes to my mind. It definitely means the world to me. But with that being said, this is Ernest Khan signing out for the evening. You guys have a lovely, lovely rest of your Friday. Feel free to um, pretty much, again, feel free to... Uh, if you haven't already, follow me over here. Uh, well, hold up, hold up. I, I pushed the wrong button. Yeah, feel free to follow me over here on Instagram if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be signing out over here, guys. But uh, with that being said, have a lovely rest of your weekend. I hope you guys are going to be doing some fun stuff. Um, and let it be known. I, I definitely would love to learn what you guys are up to this weekend. Feel free to drop it in the chat. I'm going to leave this open while I jump out of the building over here. But uh, with that being said, Ernest Khan. Take it easy. Peace.